fun. Hello, this is May at Yes She May. And I Hi, I'm Jennifer. Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone. And Jennifer, you are based in uh, Los Angeles, right? I am. I am based in Los Angeles, yet I produce everything in New York. Um, so I'm back and forth. I design everything here in Los Angeles, and then it gets shipped to New York. Some of it gets made. Some samples get made here. I have a hand in making those samples sometimes. And then it gets shipped to New York, and the prototypes get made, and the production gets done there and gets shipped back to LA or direct from New York to wherever it's going. So. Excellent. It's always good to have a hub here on the East Coast. And uh, we also have Allison, our um, director for merchandising and vendors. And she's behind the scene of all the brands that we're able to introduce so far. So Jennifer, I know you have been working a lot with um, Allison and I have to tell you, when Allison told me, you've got to see this brand, Aww. I was like, well, um, I'm wondering how Jennifer started designing, um, you know, out of California of all places and silk, because I was growing up appreciating silk. Um, I was born in a part of the Chinese culture where we produce silk, it's in Hangzhou, south of uh, Shanghai. But tell us how you actually um, see the opportunity in uh, high-end lingerie? Well, actually, I was coming off of a divorce and I was going out a lot with my girlfriends and I bought a beautiful sheer, way more sheer than it was in the dressing room <laughs> blouse and it was pretty low cut and I tried on all my bras to to make it look good because it was a hot night and I didn't want to wear a blazer or anything over it. I wanted to show off my blouse and nothing looked right under it. I, I, I realized that I was in great need of some new bras. And so I went on a search and thought, oh, it'll just be easy. I'll go online, pick out a bunch of stuff. And I ordered some things. It, didn't look right. Everything had a bow in the front. I thought I'm a, I'm a grown woman. Like I, I, I'm going to cut that little bow off and, and it just, it just, nothing was right. And I'm accustomed to sort of designing things that I can't find. I created a whole uh, line of golf clothes for women that I never launched because uh, I wound up getting pregnant and getting married and doing other things. But you know, I thought, why am I wearing clothes that looks like I borrowed it from my husband? <laughs> so, and, you know, whether it's a, a sconce or a coffee table, I used to do a lot of interior design. And if I didn't, I, I, I would think, oh, I want to, I, I want this over here. And if I couldn't find it, I would just make it. And so I, I thought, I'll just make what I'm looking for. And when you think about that, um... You, you look at the brands at that time, um, what do you think was missing when you realized not only do they have a lot of bows for, obviously a very, maybe, you know, traditional- Sophisticated. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. For a you sophisticated see woman, you don't, you don't want to wear a lot of, uh, you know, girly things or, you know, and I, and I like finer things. Um, it wasn't about you know, I went to La Perla and I went to uh, Shanta and I went to the, the department stores and it was just a sea. I couldn't even tell, differentiate the brands from one another. One brand from another. No. Absolutely. And what was the aha moment? Well, there were several, but um, that night I had to not wear that blouse and I wore something else. And so I had a group of women that we've been getting together once a month for 10 years. And I kind of told them my idea. I took a, I, I took a ring that I had and I mm -hmm. said, what do you think if like we had something, you know, beautiful and bejeweled and something in the center front? And they were like, that's great. That's a great, I said, but it must exist, you know, I, but I can't find it. So maybe it's just the, 
the, the department store buyers or, you know, I, it has to exist. It took me all the way to Paris to the lingerie trade show because at that point, over the course of a month, I had gone to independent lingerie boutiques, department mm-hmm. stores, shopped online, and I still couldn't find what I wanted. I found, mm-hmm. I found pretty things, but they weren't meant to be worn for a long time, if you know what I'm saying. Just <laughs> <laughs> for one night, right? Or maybe one a few night, hours. <laughs> they weren't made well. They didn't, they were all bumpy and lumpy underneath you know, clothing. And I just thought, I want something beautiful, comfortable, elegant, classy Mm -hmm. that I can wear all day. And I don't have to change into something pretty at night. Right. Right. Ah, that's, that's the key. So here, here, I wonder if you um, can tell us when was that? Because it was already, you mentioned internet. And I want to just let everybody who just come in to meet you. This is Jennifer, the founder and the creator of the brand Avery Rose. She's based in LA and a lot of her merchandise is actually made in New York. Uh, She's talking about what inspired her to make this luxury laundry, which she couldn't find herself. Um, And that was how many years ago? That was four years ago. Three years ago. So do you notice that in the last five to six years, there was a big trend of launching online website that is um, about all kinds of underwear, right? Um, you still don't find what you're looking for, despite of, uh, I think I can name a few. There's the uh, Wear Lively. I actually know the founder, Michelle. Uh, Wear Lively is doing great. There are quite a few, uh, you, you mentioned some high end, but there are a lot of new and young brands that are very inclusive, right? And they're more comfortable. But you are looking for higher up the glam part and higher up on the material part. I, I yes. do want to talk a little bit about silk versus cotton or other synthetic material. So I... I love the feeling of silk. So I'm, I'm wearing all silk. I'm wearing my, my Solange pants, which I love. <laughs> it's so nice. They're so nice. Thank you. Uh, for Chinese New Year, <laughs> for yes. you, Meg. Very um, important for all of us. <laughs> my silk does come from China, even though I buy it from um, my vendor in New York. It does come from China because it is right. the finest silk made in the world. Mm-hmm. And I use 19 Mame. I know that people don't really know what that is, but it's, it's a tighter weave. And it's so, for instance, this top is um, a new top and it doesn't have the embellished straps. I'm trying to sort of give everybody something, but right. I, it's double layered. Mm. So, so, and I have, I have the silky right. side. So you have two layers, so you don't have to wear a bra underneath. So you could throw a blazer on top. So you could put a pair of jeans on with it. But also- That's the beauty of this uh, kind of uh, cami. I love it. Thank you. you. Have something like, a, I've seen people wearing like a cardigan. I think it was Katie Homer's that mm-hmm. have their, the moment where the whole bra becomes an outerwear. And is that what inspired your uh, Swarovski oh. crypto moment? So, well, I like the finest materials, <laughs> so I wanted to get the finest crystals, and so that's why I partnered with Swarovski to use their crystals, um, and, you know, and even my beading. My beading is done by um, a company in India that beads for the royal family and Bajli Mishka and Reem Akra, the bridal designer. And so every, if, if it's beaded, if it's hand beaded, it's, you know, something like this. Very And easy. it's, Very yeah, easy. it's, yeah. and it's not, this is going to outlast our lifetime. You know, <laughs> <laughs> this isn't going anywhere. I, for a while I said, oh, maybe I should add little baggies with the bees. And I said, but that insinuates that they're going to fall off. These aren't even falling off. So anyway, um, no, I just, I just, it's a representation of me. And so my name, I feel like every piece, not only do I have a hand in every piece from the design 
to the final production and it, I see everything. I feel everything. I am doing everything except for the beating, except for <laughs> whatever, making the self. But I, you know, it, it matters to me. I, I, I want everybody to be as happy with um, their purchases as I am and have repeat customers and have them so excited about something new. And I have one woman who has 70 pieces. She's, she's just like, every time something comes out, she wants something, she, she, you know, when are you coming out with something else? I said, <laughs> you can't just, you know, you have to give me a, a minute. So this idea of, um, let me ask you, so women has a lot of priorities, right? Uh, just for fashion alone, there's the most important to be seen piece, such as your jewelries. You know, these days everybody needs earrings because of the Zoom meeting. We always need some nice shoes. And why would someone prioritize lingerie? Give me three good reasons that women should consider investing in quality lingerie. I know it, I'm gonna tell you my end of the answer, but I want you to answer for me. Well, you know, I, I buy everything, you know, I, I'm, I'll buy things that I like. It's, it's, it's not about the price. I mean, uh, you know, there's, there's an element to that, but if I love something, I buy it. And if it's surprisingly inexpensive, I'm excited. And if it's, you know, more expensive, whatever. But my pieces, I mean, I'm still wearing the same thongs that I designed four years ago that have gone through my washing machine and everything else, and even the dryer, and they're holding up. So then I think, wow, you know, amortize that cost over four years, as opposed to a pair of underwear that is that falls apart after three wears or something like that. That's a Terry Bradshaw uh, thought process mm -hmm. from Sex in the City. Remember yes. she was rationalize buying a Milano Blanik and why each pair each wear is only $20. That's yes. my husband all the time. I said, if you rationalize it, it's very economic, economic. <laughs> exactly. My point exactly. So that that's number one. So if you're going to buy something of quality, it for sure is going to laugh outlast anything that is of poor quality. Um, and secondly, you know, I go back to the first reason that I wanted to design uh, lingerie that was meant to be seen. Because sometimes, you know, you're wearing a sheer blouse. What are you going to wear under that sheer blouse? It should be it should be just as beautiful as the blouse that you're wearing outside. They're comfortable. They do and sell very nylon driven, very clingy things that make you feel like you can't breathe or you have a breakout after that. I think that's the, an important point. And that's the other thing. I, I, I like to make each uh, piece as multifunctional as possible. Again, going back to that Carrie Bradshaw reference that you made, like, let's have a piece of lingerie that we can wear. I have a, I have a nurse that uh, I actually named a bodysuit after because at a trunk show, she came in and she had already bought pieces and she says, I wear your Avery Rose under my scrubs and it just makes me feel beautiful all day long. And I, Wow, that's, a, that's, that's something, amazing. yeah, I mean, I, I, I love that. Sure, why can't we, when you're putting something on, when you're putting something, if you're putting a beautiful bra on and it feels good and it looks good, and then you layer that with something else, if you even have to, um, right. because I, I see girls wearing like this particular bralette. Right. And yeah. it has this, this one, back design. So yeah. this wasn't really meant to be necessarily just worn like this, but I see women and posting pictures wearing it just like this <laughs> under a blazer. But I actually made this bra for a, for a woman. See, the whole back is embellished. Right. <laughs> Who I met um, out and through other friends. And she was, she had the ugliest bra I've ever seen, probably 10 years old, but apparently she has like some sort of gastro and something. Right. And so she has to wear non-restrictive bras. Without a and, all that kind of thing. But she had this beautiful um, shirt or blouse on and it was sort of drapey in the back. And so I, I hooked a hook that was 
unhooked and I fixed her twisted strap. And anyway, we became friends. And then I said, I designed this bra for you. And she said, you didn't even ask me. And I said, well, honey, it's, it's adjustable in many ways on both sides. And it has this beautiful black, you know, back um, piece. And now you can wear that blouse. And so we joked the other day so, and I said, well, did guess you? What? Guess what? I think we have how many people now in the Zoom? Uh, quite a bit, right? Do we have a, a, a crowd so I can see? I'm, I'm ready to challenge the challenge our- uh, I wanna hear your reason why you yeah, want pretty- I, I will say it until I say it to the team, uh, to the okay. listeners, consumers and listeners. This is a question for yourself. Why do you want to wear your best lingerie or a good lingerie? Send us your reason and um, we will pick a winner. And this is what we're gonna do. The winner is gonna get a camisole of her choice. So whatever cami on your on our side that's from you is our gift to her, okay? Ooh. They have to be honest and genuine and you know, they can't be just, um, well, we'll choose, so. Give them a lie detector <laughs> test. <laughs> Here's my answer. Are you ready? Yes. I'm going to come join you for a minute, May. Yeah, I'm going to join you for 22. Okay. So is everybody ready? Please just uh, say you are because I'm going to say my, my answer and you can't use my answer okay. as your answer. So let me repeat what we're going to do. The question is, why do you or why do women, um, a, a, a woman have to dress herself up in her best laundry. What are the reasons we do that? Let me tell you my reason. I was a student here and I started learning to drive when I was 26, okay? Okay, you cut me off. Oh, I'm not cut off. <laughs> and, um, and one day I was gonna go to the, uh, I, I didn't get my driver's license because when I was doing parallel parking, I couldn't um, I pass, so I didn't get it. And at that moment, I actually was thinking about one thing. Um, if I do have a driver's license, what's gonna happen to me? And I thought about myself having a car accident. <laughs> and the first thing I remember was, oh my God, what am I gonna wear under if they have to open my sweater and my pants? And I look at myself, I said, uh uh, those Calvin Klein cotton is not gonna work. They're not gonna treat me. <laughs> they will think I'm a little baby or something, you know, because it's so cottony. It's like a trained in bra. <laughs> Corny is laughing at me. And I was 26 <laughs> or something. So I said, no, I cannot be laughed at by first respondents and emergency doctors. I need to look my best if I'm taken to the emergency room. <laughs> I know this is not the answer you're looking for, but ever since then, I have been following the best trend in um, you know, lingerie and all this. I become a really good uh, picker of them. And I'll tell you in the end what I think worked for me or not. But um, what do you think about this reason? It's a good reason, right? It's Even an amazing not. reason. And I think we've <laughs> all thought about that. Except you don't want to be cutting these off <laughs> if you have an accident. You'll have to save so, them. Yeah, we have to save them. So I don't know if we got all the answers we yet. Got a few answers. Okay, everybody, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to answer this question about why women should wear nice lingeries, we would love to choose an answer that is in line with our website that's called Yes She May. <laughs> It's very important. So now we go on to uh, another very important topic. Speaking of um, everyone from, um, you know, um, celebrities to some want to be celebrities are launching uh, lingeries or swimwears or beauty lines. What do you think about that trend? And what do you think they, they don't get that designers like yourself that actually are better situated to do? Well, honestly, I don't think much about anybody else. I have so much to do just focusing on what all the designs that I need to make. But truth be told, um, I 
I stole someone from um, uh, Rihanna's Fenty. She does all my sketches and my tech packs uh, for me. And, um, you know, she told me some behind the scenes stuff and she actually voluntarily left. There's a lot of emphasis on just making money. And even though I do want to make money, my emphasis is on creating a beautiful product and, you know, having people really feel amazing about wearing what I am creating. That's sort of my bottom line. And, you know, uh, I, I, I wish them all well. I, I, I want everybody, to, but at the end of the day, it's, it's a big business. They're using their celebrity to create something that might not be necessarily uh, something that they even personally like or want, but, and, and, you know, I have to say, I am expanding my line. I created underwire bras because there was a need and a, a desire for those, even though I just started out doing bralettes. Um, now I've moved into loungewear and sort of more crossover ready to wear pieces <clears throat> that you can, this is my favorite top right now because I just sort of throw it on and wear it everywhere. And my um, is this, uh, this little, okay, I caught up here. This little tube top. And so it's just a cute little easy piece where, you know, to bed or not. Um, but, and I, and the ruffle goes low enough that you don't have to wear a bra underneath, but you could wear a beautiful crystal strap bra underneath. So I'm constantly trying to think about the woman that's wearing it. Um, it's funny because a few years back, um, I started getting somebody, some man said, um, oh, I think that's really beautiful. And I kind of was like, oh, that's right. Men are looking at this too. Men care about this too, but I really don't care um, what they think. It's, it's, I'm designing for the woman. I'm designing for myself. I care about what she thinks. I care about how she feels in it. And that's a nice byproduct that the, that the men like it, but that is not and never has been my primary focus on my designs. Well, I think to actually follow your comment, we actually have quite a few um, uh, ladies that ask the question or comment that maybe we also after a year wearing very casual, you know, boyfriend shirt, his t-shirt all day long and all, all, all month long. And now we want to be women again. We want to be looking light, feeling light. We want to feel pampered and we want the silk to run through our skin like we are worth a million dollars. Why not? We can indulge ourselves. It doesn't have to be the biggest luxury in life. It's small indulgences like that. that lift our spirit. And I do think that when a woman is happy and confident, whoever is next to her, be it her family, her children, her uh, husband or her partner, everybody gets happy, right? When a woman of the house is happy, everyone benefits. Who has seen a happy person ruin a family? <laughs> so uh, it's very important. We have been uh, listening to women talking about health and wellness. In the end, all of these aspects that we touch is about taking care of ourselves. And so often we don't. No, absolutely. Um, I, you know, that's, that's also one of the reasons that I use the highest quality materials that, that I can find and get my hands on. Um, because th that, you know, that matters to me. I don't want, you know, a woman to ever say, that didn't feel right, or this is itchy, or right. that, that this isn't comfortable. That's that would be the antithesis to you know one of the tenets of my sort of design you know requirements. So um, I want to show everybody what the bead um, feels like because I know the other side is silk, right? You put crystal just on the on the. It's probably the most 
sexy part of your line in my view, because that's the part of what's being seen like, right? It's very glamorous. No one's, there's nothing like that in the market. And underneath this crystal is actually silk. So you don't feel anything uncomfortable, but the, the glamor part is those peeking out from your sweater, from your um, jacket when you are you know, wanting to take it off and you go to a, a cocktail. Um, I think that's very uh, smart of you to put that little touch. This is my, comes, my favorite. I can't get these anymore. That's why it's a limited edition. I ordered this one and it's not there. So I, I might, I might be- I a, think I uh, ran out of the smalls already. Yeah, I'm gonna start a list, uh, but I also <laughs> want you to try, I'm gonna start a mailing list of uh, when the small one's available, but can you also show another luxury material, which is the ostrich uh, feather? Oh, know that, sure. by the way, you see Chris's uh, Instagram post today. She just- I did. She needs a steamer. We need to get a steamer. <laughs> she literally took it out of the package. And I can see the, I can see the, the lines from it, but um, this is actually the longer one. She loves to have gorgeous. this one. It's gorgeous. Can you try Thank it for you. us? Please? So, and the ostrich feathers, you know, there's, there's a lot being said about ostrich feathers because a long time ago they weren't ethically sourced, but these are all ethically sourced and cleaned and um, they're cut. They're not pulled from the ostrich. It's not hurting the ostrich. Um, so it's, it's, it's kind of a big, it was kind of like a big deal, but it's so yummy. <laughs> you could also imagine maybe next year put some other you know, not endangered or even, you know, pleather, some kind of man-made uh, feather. The idea is very sexy, as you can imagine. I've read a few books about women and their, um, uh, you know, fans that are made of feather, of birds or whatever, but- Well, um, I'm actually thinking of, you know, this, this whole um, silhouette comes in all the silk colorways and also in, um, in this beaded lace. Oh, the beaded one, yes. This is very glam. This is it what- comes, and this, is, uh, this is a really neat silhouette because you just, it's gonna not yeah. look good on, on top of what I'm doing. Should have had a model. It's almost, right, it's almost so it's like- So open. Uh, it's open right. in the back. Right. And then you just exactly. tie it Perfect. back here. But what right. I was thinking when you were talking about other feathers, is um, actually having like beautiful, like maybe a couple of feathers hanging back on a new style with some beads just to make the back really sort of stand out. Um, but again, this you can wear out. Yeah. This you can, you know. With a nice white leg pants. <laughs> I think it's gonna be beautiful for- Thank you. Out, with a Thank you. out. So, um, uh, any other shapes? Um, I know that you are, the slip comes in three sizes, three, three lengths, right? The slip that you're, you're um, I want to show oh, all your, this, yeah. Okay. Maybe show me so, the first. So, right, we have a, we have this cami style with the Swarovski crystals, and it also comes in red. Swarovski crystals. Right. I don't know whether you can see the red, but just sort of what's a little more. Style? Um, what? What's the name of the style? So this is the, well, this is the um, Michaela. This right. is the Madison. It's a longer version. And then, that's what and this is the Chiara. Okay. And I have it in Anything that has beaded, I have it in white, black, and red right. for the beaded straps. But then I have all the different colorways for like the, the silhouette that I'm wearing, the Melissa. Right. Um, in these fun sort of happy colors since we're coming off of, we're coming off of, you know, such a sad time, I wanted to introduce more sort of fun, happy colors. And it all ties back to, we have little tap shorts you can wear with this, but 
I didn't do pants for these colors. I just figured if you want to, you can tie it back to, you know, a yeah. white Very pan nice. or whatever. Um, but I'm loving, I'm loving these camisoles right. that I did. I don't know whether you have them yet. You will if you don't have them already. Yeah, we probably will launch them in March. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then this like blue iridescent lace. And this, this is lined in the cup and it's nicely, it's got a nice stretch to it. Mm -hmm. But I just thought these are nice to throw under a sweatshirt, throw under a blazer, meant to be seen again. I really like um, that if, if maybe, you know, your t-shirt is oversized and you see a beautiful embellished strap, or so I just want you to know that's what we want to do once we have um, our spring lined up we want to do some campaigns where we actually mix it with sweaters or jacket because I think that's a very sort of for us it's at yes you may we really want to also sort of give people the solution right um, so often each brand is about themselves but nobody wears a brand from head to toe you just can't no. Um, we want to mix it up. We, we, you know, Allison comes from this great background, um, and she has been uh, trying to get everyone together uh, when the shipment arrives, so that we can start imagining, you know, those education about how to put a look together, you know, from day to night. Uh, particularly these days, you never know if you're going out or you're not. You know, maybe you're not, <laughs> but maybe we should be ready if you're going. We out. want to. <laughs> But when the time comes, I know, listen, this is very fun. And I have another idea for you for next season. Think about pearls. We've seen a lot of pearls as an attachment or as some kind of fun, like imagine your all back open thing, like one big pearl in the back would be cute. We've seen them everywhere from shoes to bags and obviously earrings, but um, I just feel between pearls and silk, it's such a good name. <laughs> It is. It is. It's beautiful. I love pearls. I love pearls. Do they have to be real pearls? Because this is going to be a cost for him. <laughs> of course not. Of course but not. see, immediately I'm thinking, where can I get real pearls and have them strung? And, you know, where, where? <laughs> yeah. let's, let's solve that puzzle next year. But um, I'm so happy to finally meet you. And I can't Me wait too. to have my piece coming. It's coming and today. Yeah, and also I think UPS or USPS man probably just delivered. Um, I would love for you to know that we all enjoy talking to you and our, we, we have a very good uh, participants and we will share with you what they answer about. Um, um, yes, the, uh, I, I'm, I love feedback. I love suggestions, probably anything that they, they suggest I've already thought of. 17 million times over and then some um but but i i welcome any and all feedback and um just yeah i i'm i'm open i love it i love hearing from people so and it's been such a pleasure talking with you are we over already huh is it over already no they are still on everybody <laughs> on so hey listen everyone thank you for joining us and thank you uh, for tuning into my lovely conversation with Jennifer out in uh, California. For those of you who stayed on, we have a gift for you. Obviously, the 15% discount is Rose 15. Um, it's not end yet. We're going to send you who's the winner, who's the lucky winner, and you get to pick one cami from Jennifer's collection. And we will see what answer that is. <laughs> we're not going to name names, but we're going to share all the answers. Uh, I think it's going to be fun. And yeah. see when we can go back to norm, we're gonna have an event in LA and we get all your LA Oh no, let me come to let me come to the East Coast. I haven't traveled in come. such a you will come. I hope to to introduce you to our lawmakers and make sure they take care of women's business. Yes. <laughs> yes, I will be right there on the steps with you. We can buy some very nice underwear, you know. <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll gift their all their wives and all the the you know no they the, have the pay. women <laughs> <laughs> they better pay very good Allison and thank you everyone for listening to us we will send you new information about new um, 
uh, event, and that will be about a few weeks from now. So have a happy new year. It's a new year of the ox. So very fortunate and do yes, what get you your, get your candles, make a wish. Candles, get your haircut, get your red outfit, and we will have, we will conquer COVID-19. That's yes. Big. Thank you, everybody. Happy New Year. Thank, Thank you. you. Happy New Year. Thank you, Jennifer. You're right. It was lovely. Thank you. It was lovely.